everyone it's sarah happy february and welcome to my next video if you're interested stick around it's time to do a savings challenge video it's time to release the word kraken too All right, everyone, it's time for me to do another savings challenge stuffing because I have a ton of rollover cash and it's a burning a hole in my pocket. Not really, it's in my little Ikea bag, um, keychain. I roll it over and keep it in here till I feel like I have enough to do a savings challenge with. For those of you who are new here, hi. For those of you who've come back, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Sarah, I'm a Gen Xer author, librarian, uh, I don't know what else. I lose track of who I am sometimes, but I'm trying to figure out how I spend my money and how to do better about saving and planning for my money, especially because I'm an indie author. So all the expenses of publishing fall on my shoulder. And it took me a lot of long time to realize it, but I've been going into debt by publishing my books and I don't want to do that anymore. One of the ways I've found is exciting for me and helps me save is by doing savings challenges. So each week I give myself $200 to spend on groceries and whatever it is that I wanna buy, whatever is left, I roll over into the savings challenges and I make my own savings challenges based on my books because I like to do things myself. I like them the way I like them. So I just do it myself. Uh, so what do I have? This is about two weeks of rollover. I have 20, 40, 60, 5, 75, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. So you have 90 dollars for two weeks. That's not terrible. All right, let's get into here because I have some things to update before we get into the regular savings challenges. We have my attempts to gamify my life and i i had a notepad with all sorts of notes on it here we go now i see it all right so we're going to start with my get in shape girl this is my efforts to gamify uh, my health mostly my exercise for every time i go to the gym or do an extra workout on top of a trainer one time a week trainer appointment and daily uh, adventures with uh, my four-legged pupper who is licking himself. Cedric, what are you licking? We don't lick. No, we are not kitties, we are puppies. Sorry, uh, we do daily walks so that doesn't count, but anything I do beyond those things, I color in another little heart and icon. Um, and then when I ha and I save five dollars every time I color in another one, and when I'm done, I will have about two hundred dollars to buy a virtual race. I love virtual races. Check out the community tab to see some of the medals that I have earned by completing these. Um, I'm almost ready to buy the next one, so I'm trying to move ahead, and I'm halfway there. I've been doing this for about a month and a half, two months maybe. But this week I have three more to color in, which means I should have $115. Let's see how much I have. And I don't just stuff the cash. I wait till I'm on one of these videos. So I have 50, 70, 80, 90, 5, 100. So I need 15 more. What I'm going to do, take in a 20, swap out a 5. So 50, 70, 90, 100, 10, 15. Uh, and tonight I will probably get another one colored in because I'm just going to go ride a stationary bike at the gym for a little while. I do have a stationary bike at home, but sometimes going to the gym is better than just sitting at home and doing it. Also to catch up on is my no low challenge for January. I haven't caught up on this one in a while and I have some red to color in. Um, so the, if you've never seen this challenge before, uh, my goal is to spend as little as possible. And when I do to spend with intentionality 
and with the days I spend or with intentionality or do not spend get colored in blue but some get colored in red and the last day of the month even though January had 31 days I only have 30 little coins on here but we're giving it the last day is a red day because I went to Michael's with the intention of only buying one thing did not find that thing but found Valentine's Day stuff on sale and I am a romance writer so I needed it right needed firm complete period stop but that was not intentional it went on the credit card and I'm going to have to find the money to pay off the credit card uh, because my publishing budget did not account for me buying uh supplies that I really don't need but they're so pretty and they were on sale this is the logic so one thing I know moving forward because this is also about data collection is this is a problem I also forgot about two other days so I'm just gonna color in the last two days last three days of the month um I forgot to write these down but one day I went over to a local um we call it mill number five it's an old mill that they have converted into like a small shopping center with a lot of small businesses and my favorite baker slash marshmallow maker is there and again this is for writing promotion the marshmallows she makes she showed me how she makes them how she runs her business and i used it as research for a store not this purchase uh, this purchase is for a giveaway on valentine's day that I'm doing at a local bookshop. Again, it counts as book money, but it went on the credit card without me thinking. And then the third day, I bought something within Apple Games and I totally didn't even think about it. So I now know I need to think better about these little businessy expenses and um, better prepare for the in-game Apple purchases. But everything else was good. I had a really great January. So I have to put aside $30 for this one. So we'll take a 20 and two fives. What will I do with this? I don't know yet. We're going to keep it aside, but I'm also going to put in the February one. Nope, that says April. Here is February's and using this $10. So what I do is if I have a day where I unintentionally spend, I have a amount to put aside and $10 was really good. I thought more about the eating out the um, ways I tend to just unintentionally spend before I spent the money. It was just in those three occurrences where I did not think fully um, to be fair, the day I went to the bakery, marshmallow maker was a really gross day and I deserved cookies for getting out into the slushy ring. But I still have to put $10 aside for whether I deserved those cookies and marshmallows or not. So we're going to try again for February. And um, and the first two days have been no intention, unintentional spending. So yay me so far. Uh, I do better. Uh, progressively over time tracking my spending like this it doesn't mean I don't buy things or that I don't buy things I just suddenly want it means that money has already been put aside for it my next step is to start reconciling my spending on video this year so that you can see where I'm taking the money from especially because I've reorganized my system as you probably saw in the previous video about my third cash stuffing of the year so we'll move forward with February when it comes also, bingo! Uh, if you're not playing along, the second of the month I debuted my bingo game. It's my hundred dollar, my hundred subscriber uh, special. Uh, I made the free bingo games. You can get thirty cards for free and print them as many times as you want. And I'm playing at the end of every video. We will play another round. And since I debuted the game, I have done one other video, and so. There should be $10 in here. There is five, so another five. So those are my saving obligations. Those are my challenges to gamify. But these over here are my book-related savings challenges. 
not sure where this money will go. I'm just having fun with my money and my books. I write, for those who don't know, romantic comedies, low heat, Jane Austen modernizations. I write uh, uh, Lovecraftian horror, dark fantasy, and I write more epic fantasy. So I make something for each of my games, I mean for each of my books, and then I uh, color them in. I keep them pretty simple. For these, you can see it's just a color in. For every $4 I put aside, I color something in. And by the end, I'll have 100 bucks, and I have three more here. So that is $12. So let's see. We have 10, 12, and that means I should have $100 put aside to something else. Let's count it to make sure. We have 55, 65, 70. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ninety. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, a hundred. So there's a hundred dollars. Another savings challenge down. Let's color in the bubbles. This book is a modernization of Emma. If you've seen Clueless, you kind of know the Emma story. She's a matchmaker. She's not great at it, but she's super cute and a little annoying. But um, this takes place in a college dorm uh, and is a friends to lovers story. If you like to know your tropes and romance. Also an academic romance. Da -da 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 -da. So I am going to put this back in here. But also pull it out because we're going to talk about where this is going to go in another video. Stay tuned for my savings challenge, uh, my business stuffing, because that's where it's going to go into business. Next is for the first book in that same series. That's the 21st Century Austin series. I wrote the first book in the series is Persuasion, Modern Persuasion, mod modernized persuasion. This is a second chance at love story set around an author's book tour with his publisher. It's my favorite. It is free on Amazon under Sarah Marks. That's who I am. It's got a beautiful yellow cover. Uh, it is free on Amazon, Barnes and Noble, Kobo, Apple, wherever for the ebook. So uh, I have this crossword puzzle that I do. And when I have some extra cash, I, um, let's see what I have. 10. Hmm. I think we're only going to do one. Uh, let's see which one we do. Um, I have Jane Austen, Persuasion, Book Tour. I see Book Tour really easily. So we'll do that one. Uh, and then I put another five aside. And this is just uh, something that I'm doing for all my books. I will probably make this available for sale. It's kind of fun. And at the end, I'll have $100. So let's see where I am now. 20, 30, 45, 55. So past the halfway point. Next, we have Love from Northanger Parks, Katie. This is the book for the Disney adults because it is also in the same series. I think only romantic comedies, yep, only romantic comedies right now. Um, this is, let's put this away. This is uh, Northanger Parks modernization, Northanger Abbey modernization. The book is Northanger Park. I made up my own theme park and the main character instead of Disney Mickey Mouse is a unicorn and a kitty cat. Uh, so we have 10. I am going to see if I have a 10 to change that 20. I have two fives, so we'll do that. So we just colored in one and I should have... Well, so I should have 120, 20, 40, 60, 80, 120. Perfect. And the last one is for my next book, which comes out on the 14th. It is Sweeten Up Ginny Darcy. It is a gender swap of Pride and Prejudice, which I love. I love an enemies to lovers story. 
where did my black marker go? I have all these fun markers and pens and pencils that I keep right by my on my desk so that I can just pull them out when I need them on top of this collection of Ikea markers. Um, but now I found it. Okay, so this one is a $4 challenge and I should have 18, no, five, 10. Uh, let's put the extra one aside. I have 12. That means I can color in three marshmallows. This is why I bought marshmallows. Sweet Enough Jenny Darcy features one of the main characters is a marshmallow maker. Uh, and the woman who helped me learn about making marshmallows and running a candy store makes the marshmallows, which is why I made uh, Haley a marshmallow maker. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I should have $24 here. Five, 10. Nope, there's the extra. Five, 10. 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Almost a quarter of the way through. And then I have $1 put to the side. But before we go, we're gonna do the next bingo. And I do have the bingo open so that I could automatically put an extra $5 I have, swap out the single with the five, cause we're gonna do the next bingo call. All right, this is my bingo callers card. So when I call something, I will cross it off here. When should you cross it off on your card? I am doing it if I call it and it applies to me. So if I, I call six months ahead, I don't, I've never gotten six months ahead. That's a fantasy. But if you have, and I've called it, you can put it down. Or you can just put aside money if I've called anything regardless of having it for you you also want to set how much you're putting aside for a square and how much you're putting aside for bingo so i have decided five for the square and 20 when i additional when i get a bingo all right let's see what i pull and i will be doing this at the end of every video every every video saved a thousand dollars All right, I have saved $1,000, which means I can see if it's on any of my four cards. I am doing four at a time. You can do four at a time. You can do all 30 at a time. You can do one at a time. That here is saved $1,000. Let's see if it's on any other card. And I will have to owe myself. Yep, saved 1000 So it was on two cards, but I only have $5 put aside. So I will put that five in and then next time I do a savings challenge, I will catch up with where I am so that I have everything I can put aside. And I will keep that one aside now. These are all my other bingo cards so that I can pick up and play again. And, all right, I have this little unicorn change purse which will be perfect for storing the used cards. I don't wanna throw them away because if we play another round, I wanna have these ready to go. So these will go in here with the extra cards. I'm nowhere near bingo yet. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, thumbs up, subscribe if you want more videos. I tend to post between two to three times a week, depending on what I have to share with you. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.